You know what's funny, guys? Kamala Harris has been in charge, along with Beijing Biden, ever since January of 2021. Now, there was no inflation when they actually started occupying the Oval Office at all. Inflation was at, if I'm not mistaken, 1.7 percent when President Trump left office. Then inflation exploded. It was something like 12, 14 percent, guys. And people started suffering under the Harris Biden administration. And have you guys noticed that these food prices aren't going down? They're not because inflation, the way it's actually calculated is year over year. So when the inflation exploded to like 12, 14 percent, that was a year over year number. Then they said inflation started cooling. But that was based off of um, the year where it was super high and then it cooled down some. But however, the price still keeps going up because it's year over year. And your wages, guess what? Your wages are not keeping up with inflation. And it's starting to get, get worse, folks. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have been a disaster. And Kamala Harris, her new plan to actually combat inflation is communism. Now, I've already said it, man. Kamala Harris is a communist, man. She's a far leftist. And you guys got to tell your neighbors, man, that want to vote for Kamala Harris just because that communism is going to cause people to starve and die. She wants to turn the USA into Venezuela into the Soviet Union. She actually wants to fix prices by government government mandate. It's not going to work like that, man. It's not going to work. People will starve. Now, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has, has actually um, seen the light, guys. He's come out. He's voiced his support for um, President Trump after um, voting for Beijing Biden. He learned his lesson. Now, we actually need more people to actually learn their lesson as well. And we need it fast, guys, because um, the media is not going to help you understand the true issues. They're actually going up to bat for Kamala Harris to push communism on you folks. This is literal communism that Kamala Harris is pushing, guys. Your business won't be able to set the price at all. She wants to determine food prices. And do you guys actually think she's actually going to stop right there? No. She's going to keep going on. More government control over your businesses, guys. It won't help anyone. It's actually going to cause uh, food shortages, by the way. And people are going to start buying up stuff. And then guess what? There's going to be shortages. And guess what? They're going to sell it for even more. Yeah, this is crazy, guys. Elon Musk actually does know the truth. And he actually uh, reposted a meme that actually exposes Kamala Harris's communism, guys. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com, or supporting us on Locals, both, for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Right here, guys. Kamala complains about the price of food under her administration. Vows to fix it. But Kamala, you are already in power. Why have you not actually been able to bring down the price of food? Simple, guys. Socialist policies don't work. Socialism does not work. This is a part of the Harris Biden regime's plan. To continue to make you suffer. Wow. So right here, guys. Check out this post right here. (laughs) This is on Kamala Harris right here. Kamala vows to lower the cost of food, which has gone up dramatically during her administration. 
Now, all of a sudden, now she says she's going to fix what she actually created. She bats everything that her and Beijing Biden have done to destroy the economy. To where people can't actually buy food. Let's listen to this. As president, I will take on the high costs that matter most to most Americans, like the cost of food. We all know that prices went up during the pandemic when the supply chains shut down and failed. But our supply chains have now improved. And prices are still too high. A, lo a loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. As president. Yeah. So, right there, guys. You guys heard that. Her and Beijing Biden are in power right now. They've done absolutely nothing. You remember, guys. She actually was a tiebreaker on the quote unquote inflation reduction act, which the Democrats actually said would actually reduce inflation. It didn't do it. She broke that tie. When she was actually going after um tip workers to actually have the IRS come after them. Kamala Harris vows on day one now to actually put a stop to the high prices. She's not. This woman is a complete fraud. Now Elon Musk knows this. Look at this meme here that he actually uh, reposted here. He says the memes no, because uh, Autism Capital uh, posts this right here. Kamala Harris meme right here with her in the upper left hand corner says I want equity, and then there's a man uh, right there next to her says be honest. Then Kamala says I want equal outcomes, which is communism by the way. Says be honest. And then she says, I want communism. And the person says, thank you. Yeah, because she's pushing nothing more than communism on the people, man. And unfortunately, there is not enough um, people out there that actually know the issues, guys. I mean, that was actually real research, guys. Real research, like Democrat and Democrat leaning independents, like 70 percent of them didn't know Kamala's policy positions, but apparently they're actually going to vote for her. They're not voting on issues, guys. This is a classic case of vote blue, no matter who. Now, we definitely need to um, get these people to actually know her positions, man. And maybe, just maybe, the independents anyway, may end up changing their mind. What she is pushing, man, the average American is not going to be down with. I mean, did you guys actually know that Kamala Harris actually wanted um, uh, people on death row to vote? Yeah, that's a real thing, man. That is a radical position, man. People on death row. She wanted to abolish ICE. She doesn't want uh, crossing uh, the border to be illegal. And we all know that because Kamala Harris has allowed the border to be wide open. No one should be voting for this person, man. If you vote for Kamala Harris, you're voting for the end of the United States of America as we know it. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.